cause I sign for my soul Over the summer, there is nothing like being a part of the Cape Cod Baseball League. For many coming to Massachusetts, to be part of the Cape Cod Baseball League is a dream. Or in the late afternoon in the warm sun, you hear the whoosh of a 90 mile an hour ball hit a wooden bat with a cheer of baseball fans. This dream is not only for the players taking the field, but also for the many broadcasters that come from all over the country. This is a dream for them to learn from others and maybe make a call for a future big leaguer. Brings back a home run and saves two runs for the Commodore. Joy Matulovic tips his cap and the inning is over. Just like these young ball players, these broadcasters come from all parts of the country to follow their dreams. J.D. Rachi is from Dudley, Massachusetts and attends Syracuse University. Trevor Russo is from Princeton, New Jersey and goes to Tufts University. Cameron Stewart is from Rockland, Massachusetts and is a student at Baylor University. Mary Orders is from the Bay Area in California and attends Northwestern University. Henrique Damore is from Newport Beach, California and also attends Northwestern University. Cameron Gonzalves is from Taunton, Massachusetts and goes to Franklin Pierce University. Players than anyone else in the country with over 600 events nationwide. Yeah, I got this, bro. This pitching change is brought to you by the Bay Point Club on set structural soil and roof light certified green roof. The 2018 Cape League All Star Game will be played at White House Field in Harwich. Only the best are considered to become the broadcast and production team for the Wareham Gatemen. Out of all the applications, here are those who are chosen. I knew that I wanted to do the Cape League because I've heard about all the broadcasters that have come through uh, the Cape League and gone on to do really great things. Um, and Wareham seemed like a good fit for me. I sent my stuff to Andy, said I'd love to be a part of the broadcast team, and luckily for me, uh, things worked out. The last year I did um, game day uh, internship here and just kind of got to meet everyone through that. And I've been doing broadcasting for a couple years now, so kind of came up naturally and gave my stuff to Andy Lang last summer and was hired on, so it's pretty lucky. So I looked around and I saw this uh, this ad for the Wareham Gateman. I was like, huh, I don't know what that is, but it says you can produce like, content. And I'll try doing that and maybe I'll become a broadcaster later. One of my teammates, Megan O'Brien, was here for two summers about three years ago. Um, so she did the sideline reporting for the team. So she kind of recommended me for it and thought that I would like it a lot. When I was looking for jobs in the Cape League, I did the Northwoods League last year. Um, I, I reached out to him and I was like, hey, did you like Wareham? He said, yeah, it was a fantastic experience, great management, you're gonna get a lot of great opportunities. Um, would definitely recommend it and it, uh, it worked out. Tom and Andy liked my stuff, so they enjoyed it. Just like the players on the field, they discovered their passion and want to make it into reality. Everything about sports intrigued me, physicality, teamwork, camaraderie, friends that you make, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I only played baseball until I was 12. I only played sports until I was a freshman in high school. So when I realized that you know I'm not going to be the next Alex Rodriguez, I'm not going to be the next Derek Jeter, I thought, well, how am I going to keep sports in my life? I kind of realized I like talking a lot, and I know a decent amount about sports. So why don't I combine the two passions and put them into one? I always loved sports, and I knew I wasn't any good, good enough to play them. And so this was kind of the next best thing for me. Uh, it's sort of an artistic opportunity for me almost to kind of put my own spin on things. So I've always loved doing it. During high school, I people would basically tease me for the fact that my voice was very deep and monotone. And that kind of got to me. But then one day I was like, you know, I'll try doing the PA announcing for my school's football team and then the athletic director called me after the season and he was like hey uh, we want to try like a little live streaming service do you want to broadcast for that and I was like sure and then it kind of fell in love with that and I continued to do it at Tufts. I think it's really uh, the people aspect of it really interests me so I like getting to know people and just talking to them so I think that's the most interesting part to me. I just I don't know I like entertaining um, and I love sports and I love talking so it seems to kind of fit all three of those criteria. The players on the field are a part of a remarkable team but so are the broadcasters. They have tremendous support from the Gateman organization. I can't say enough about this organization. Uh, I've been really blessed for this to be my second summer working with them. The people that work here are absolutely second to none. I can't 
can't thank them enough. They make it so good to come to work here every day. Not just our broadcasters who have grown close to, but the people, uh, Paula Tufts, Andy Lang, uh, Tom Crane, Tom Gay. I mean, the list goes on and on. They've just been so good to me. I think that the organization is one of the best in the league. Uh, they really care about their players and their interns. We have a ton of interns in all different aspects, and I think that's awesome that they've given an opportunity to so many people to work on what they want to work on in an environment that's unlike any other. I'm really enjoying my time here and I, I really, I might be sad at the end of the season when I have to go. So. Tom and Andy, they're, they're great uh, GMs and or, uh, owners and GMs respectively. Um, and they, I appreciate how, you know, they are still our boss and pretty intimately involved in our lives, but just hands off enough to where we can put out a lot of our own content and put our own spin on it. And he guides us as opposed to like just straight up telling us what to do and being like, more authoritarian he's like okay here are your requirements but like you do have a lot of freedom so we can you know have our own freedoms but we also like you know make our own mistakes and you know that's kind of the best been the best way to learn from a lot of stuff in terms of the organization every person i've met has been super nice super helpful um my host mom is mary chaplin the director of housing she has been fantastic uh, her husband mike has been awesome i can't say enough about how welcoming the gatemen have been to us as a bunch of college-age students just coming out and trying to do what they love. Being a part of these experiences bring many opportunities. So these young broadcasters are learning from yesterday, living for today, and dreaming for their future. I think that a lot of internships you don't get the experience of being on camera, so this is one of the few that you do. Um, so I think that it's I'm just trying to become more comfortable on camera and more comfortable in asking questions and stuff. Different opportunities in different media and just a lot of like cool niche stories and doing like more journalism as opposed to just play-by-play -play and color broadcasting, which is a ton of fun obviously, but it's been, um, it's been more expansive than I thought it was going to be. Really great experience you can get in this. I mean, the, you know, the players are getting used to that schedule and that grind and better competition, but really all our interns are here too, whether it's the scout liaisons or the PR or us as broadcasters. Uh, just getting used to working every day, doing homework every night on the teams, and just getting better every day. So I really hope this makes me a better broadcaster more than anything. Just trying to build up my skills as a broadcaster uh, as much as I can. Then obviously getting to watch some of the best baseball players in the country do what they do um, can only prepare me for what I'm about to see uh, in my future career. Because hopefully, you know, I come away from here with a lot of experience a couple of years down the line. Uh, hopefully I get a job maybe in the minor leagues and I'm just trying to like I said, build up my profile, see the best baseball I can, and uh, become the best broadcaster I can at the same time. I really enjoy uh, producing. I didn't know that I was going to enjoy it because I've never done it before. Uh, but it's become a lot of fun. I want to hope to continue to produce things in the future. Because this is such a prestigious opportunity, what is something you would tell your younger self? Would you give yourself advice? Or would you do something earlier? Something I'd want to tell my younger self about this specific opportunity is come in with no expectations. Obviously you want to hold yourself as a broadcaster the highest standard that you can so that you're constantly getting better. I would just want to tell my younger self to pursue it and like go for it um, and that this is going to be the best experience that I'll get besides an actual job. Always like try to do new things because if you get stuck in the same routine, things get tired. Call more games and be more diligent about cutting up um, your own highlights and your own reels because you'll never know when you know something might come up or uh, you know you'll, you'll always wish you had more material and you don't. You're always going to wish that you spent more time, you know, putting together a better reel to show people because in the end, that's how you sell yourself. It's something I kind of want to tell myself right now, and, and that just don't take it for granted. Uh, do your homework but also don't take it for granted. Um, I know there was a couple of games early on in the season where I wasn't fully prepared for, but overall, just this opportunity, it doesn't get much better than this. Um, you know, as far as us broadcasters, I hope it's not the peak, but I think we'll look back on this as being our favorite summer in the industry. The best memories will always last forever. Being a part of the 2018 Gateman season is one for the books. Overall, I think uh, the rides to away games are probably my favorite memories. Um, we all carpool in there and 
the stories that come out of it are pretty insane. So I don't know if I can get into them on camera here, but uh, we really have a good time traveling together and just the bonds that we've already made uh, so far this season have been irreplaceable. So those have got to be my favorite memories are in those cars. I've liked doing the live stuff on the sideline. It's fun just to sit there and before I usually like talk to the players before um, I'll interview them. So it's nice to get to know them. I've been wanting for a while to put in this new audio system so basically it's not like sound or anything but when we go on the road we have to do an away broadcast and usually what we've done for years is we put up a static image uh, like a thumbnail basically and just play the broadcaster's voice over that but I want to put in something I've called the active audio system where it'll basically the producer updates like who, the score the number of hits errors kind of like the game day app for Major League Baseball in real time so that not only can you follow along listening, but also you have an idea of where the game is and what's going on. The last game we played uh, at the time of recording this was against Bourne. Uh, Jeremy Idens made one of the best catches I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was just so cool to like, because I was on call for that, just to be able to like lose my mind on air, but have it be like totally acceptable. So that was, that was a ton of fun. Fenway was really fun. The Fenway workout that we got to go to on Monday. Got to go into the Nesson booth, the WEI booth, and see you know where the big, big time pros do it. Uh, so that was fun. As the 2018 summer comes to an end, the players in the broadcast team have put in incredibly long and exhausting hours pursuing their dream. While this is the end of one chapter in their story, it is only the beginning of a new chapter in their pursuit of a successful career. The Cape Cod Baseball League has a rich history of developing players, interns, and broadcasters get into professional or major league sports. These were just a few that were selected to be part of this wonderful established league. Wareham Gateman organization and thank you to the 2018 broadcast team. Make your dreams become reality. Woo!